Marco, amazing season, another fantastic honour for you. Uh, yeah, it's always nice to, to be rewarded for your efforts. Um, it's a team game primarily and um, I only do what, what I need to do to, for the team to get the points, but it's always nice to be recognised. Yeah, it's, it's been a great season for yourself. Um, it, would it be your best season so far, you reckon? Yeah, I'd say so. I think it's probably been my most consistent as well. I've managed to put a few well, all right performances together and um, that's what I was hoping to do. I needed to do that. To, that was probably the thing that was lacking in my game. And I've got to keep practicing and keep keep doing it week in and week out so we can make a charge towards the end of the season. It must be great to have guys around you like Archie and Marcus to, to help you along. Yeah, of course. And But it, it comes from the whole team. I mean, if we don't play it up from the back well, then we don't get the service up front. So from the defenders to the midfielders, Billy, Millsy, um, everyone's been, been doing their part and it just makes my job so much easier. Just how much you're learning from a, a manager or a coach like Ange Postecoglou with so much experience and such a, a great leader on and off the field? Yeah, um, a lot, a lot. Um, as you can probably see from our results and what he did with Brisbane, um, he's, he's a good, he's a very good manager and um, I'm very happy um, playing under him and it's been, it's been really great for me. I've been able to been able to do well and mainly the team's been able to play some some really good football. I know you've had all the adjectives with you before, the Kiwi Messi and that sort of thing. Just how how good do you reckon you could be, or how much you, how much improvement is, is left in you? Uh, there's a there's a lot of improvement. Um, there's always a lot of improvement. Um, nowhere near the finished product. Um, and uh, I don't know. I, as long as I keep focus and keep practicing and keep wanting to improve, then I'm sure I'll get a lot better. Okay. So you're aware of the speculation, obviously surrounding uh, your transfer, possibly at the end of the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of it. Um, like I said, I'm speaking to the people I need to speak to 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 go through that process, and, and when I'm ready, I'll make a, a decision about my future. Marco, who do you think your uh, biggest threat is in winning the NAB Young Football of the Year? Um, I don't know. I mean, everyone that's been selected are pretty good players, and for their team, they've, they've done a lot for their team. So it's going to be a a tough decision for whoever has to select it and I'm just happy to be involved in the race. Just with that possible transfer talk as well, obviously you played with Wellington, I mean you are a New Zealander, but do you feel like coming to Melbourne Victory you've got more of an affinity with this club now? Or? Uh, I mean it's 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 different, um, the Phoenix was my first professional club and it was in my home country so that meant a lot to me and here as well it's meant a lot to me and um, the fans here are unbelievable and I've been able to, to play some good football so both clubs in different ways mean something to me. You just want to focus, focus on your game at the moment, don't you? Yeah, that's that's right. I want to focus on helping our team push towards hopefully narrowing the gap between us and Central Coast and getting to the top. So that obviously game against the Glory this, this week and that's obviously vital to keep that, bridge that gap? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, we're probably a bit unlucky not to win the last game so we need to start winning games and we've got 11 left so there's plenty of games left as long as we um, pick up the three points. Guys were a bit disappointed dropping the dropping the two points there? Yeah definitely, uh, it wasn't the nicest change room to be in after, um, it was pretty disappointing I thought we played some pretty good football, probably the best football we've played in the whole season and to not be rewarded with that, uh, rewarded with the three points as well was very disappointing. Do you get big? I'm um, sorry to keep harping on about the transfer stuff, but do you get excited about the possibility of maybe playing overseas eventually? Yeah, of course, because it's something I always um, dreamed of doing, and it's it is exciting. But it's you gotta kind of just focus on what you're doing now, because if you get um, too hyped up about what's happening around there, then it can it can affect your football, and I've got to make sure that it doesn't do that. Being such an important part of the team, do you and a focal point of the team now? Do you feel the pressure? every week to go out and perform or you just take it one game at a time and no nah, there's there's no pressure i mean i'm just doing what i love to do and that's playing football there's no pressure in doing that of course we have to we're, we have to do well for the fans and for the club so we'll, we'll keep we'll keep trying to trying to do that but there's no added pressure or it doesn't take a toll on me so when people say the victories you know championship and a-league hopes rest on your shoulders you you kind of just wash that away <laughs> um, no, they don't rest on my shoulders. We've got so many good players, Archie, Marcos, Milzy, Billy, like you said, so it definitely doesn't rest on mine.